guys we're back on the p boys we got a very special episode guys we have we have a uh, gabe and papa sean obviously but guys we have a, a another p boy a different type of p paul 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 it, I've heard it pronounced different ways. Elia, Elia, Elia. What do you prefer? Uh, Elia. Elia. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Elia. Paul Elia is here, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, Headlining act. <laughs> he's here in the stew. Uh, buddy, what is a P boy? P. It's, uh, the company is called Paradiso Films. Paradiso. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's too hard for people to spell, so we, we just uh, we got rid of the rest of the letters, and so it's just P boys. Just pee boys. Yeah. Pee boys. Mm-hmm. Okay, pee cool. boys, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. And also, you're not allowed to pee during the podcast. Yeah. That's a big part of you it. You gotta hold it. Yeah. yeah. Hold your blood. You yeah. gave this. <laughs> 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 We're putting you to the test. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Of course, buddy. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you guys you guys are usually here, so you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't need We're, special yeah. treatment. No. So. Um, Never pee. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, you're a big time... Uh, Stand-up special last year, Detroit player. Yeah. Um, you're just in town doing another hour. Uh, um, actor, writer, producer. Um, which of those things do you like the most? And and a P-boy now. And a P-boy, <laughs> yes. All those things, player. You're a new co-host of the podcast. <laughs> oh, We're roping shit. you into yes. a podcasting deal. Yeah. Motherfucker oh, gave me a job. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I thought we didn't have jobs here. You got to be here everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only one who will get paid. Don't worry. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Um, you said, which one do I like the most? Yeah. It was just, I don't know. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of a general question, I guess. So. Yeah. What do you like okay, the most? Bro. What do you questions like the most? Are, yeah. I, I like I'm questions. not good at questions. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm oh, not yeah. good at interviewing. You're probably right. the first person I've like interviewed, like ask questions to, like these guys. Yeah. Just, it's like, just bullshit. Really? Just let them. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, what sucks is that you have to hold the mic. Right. And you're asking <laughs> yeah. questions and right. this guy's just chilling. Yeah. Dude, they ain't got to do I shit. I was late. It was perfect. Right. Yeah. We have a headlining act in here. You can <laughs> fucking show up on time. I bet. I'm so, sorry. Yeah. It's all I'm good. sorry, Mr. Yeah. P-Boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he locked up fault. his skateboard. <laughs> 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 he like did one of those buttons. <laughs> right. Yeah. My dad <laughs> actually <laughs> dropped me off. It was cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we are in Southfield, you know? Yeah. Hilarious. Um. Yeah, no, so, uh, t- tell us about uh, what, you, what you've been writing, what you've been acting, what you've been, uh, I don't know, do you direct? Have you ever directed? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I've directed before, yeah, man. I've done, um, uh, I mean, I directed my own shorts, my own sketches. Yeah. Uh, there's a, I do a web series with Ian Edwards called Roommates. Yes, yeah, I've watched some of those. Very oh, cool, funny. man. Thank mm-hmm. you, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah, so yeah. I direct uh, all those. I mean, okay. me and Ian, we kind of like, you know, we create them together. Right. And then in terms of direction, we like figured out a configuration that works. Right. It's like we film in his apartment and his apartment is not ideal for filming. Sure. So we were like, you know what? We can make it work with this angle. Yeah. And then he has these drapes that just bleed light. And I'm just like, hey, man, we have to close your drapes. Yeah. And he's like, you ain't touching none of my furniture. Uh (laughs) So it's just like, we were like, all right, cool. So like, I just learned, honestly, a lot of directing, I just learned on my own. Yeah. Yeah. These fucking film school kids, you know, walking around acting all pretentious. You just got to do it. But that's okay. It's like, look, go to film school. Sure. Learn. And yeah. then, but make something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, make shit. Like, there's so many people that are just like, oh, man, that thing is, this thing is whack. It should have been like this. And it's yeah. just like, motherfucker, make a project. Uh-huh. You could film it on your phone, bro. Sure. I feel I feel like we've all watched enough porn to know what bad directing looks like. <laughs> that, you know, it's a good, good place to start, yeah. you know? So... Wow. If, <laughs> if your content looks like porn, it's like, all right, we need to do a little bit better. You Bro, know? you are a P-boy. <laughs> Capital P. That's what the so P-boy is all about. <laughs> During June, at the P stands for pride. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Do you think there was another reason why you weren't allowed to touch his drapes? Maybe there was some substances on it or no? Just Substances, you mean like uh, what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe pee. Maybe maybe come. I don't know. Sometimes I use my what drapes. Kind of I don't know. What the fuck is this? I don't know. <laughs> does Does your homeboy no. come on his drapes? Yeah, that's why you're not allowed to. Hey, give me something. So <laughs> drapes, right? <laughs> you know, bro, that's a valid hundred? question. Yeah, right. How old are you? Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, bro, that's a old, valid old question. Old enough yeah. to be talking about, yeah. bro. Yeah. Gen P. <laughs> 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 valid question. Yeah. I mean, you know, might have been. I don't know. We'll, we'll send you a pair of these black light. For yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do uh, Hell get, yeah. get to the that, bottom uh, of the heart. Is that y'all's merch? 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a pile right, right behind yeah. you. You can grab one if you want. That yeah, is... it used to be it used to be black, but uh, now it's white. Yeah, yeah. that Gabe got all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. P actually stands for penis. That was yeah. the joke of the penis boys. Yeah. P boys, yeah. By the way, what is uh, it's you said pedazo? Paradiso. Paradiso. Is that what is paradiso? Oh, it's like Latin or something. I just I just liked how it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Or something, yeah. It's like Latin Italian. <laughs> That's, bro, you gotta bring this on Shark Shark Tank. 100%. Like, Mark. Mark, listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yes. We're based in Southfield. Or we have three microphone stands. <laughs> you gotta invest some money in this. So w- what does it mean in Latin? Uh, I think it means paradise or heaven. Okay. Heaven. Yeah. Wow. Because this is the paradise for comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Are you religious? Uh yeah. I got I got one of these one of these bad boys. Oh, that's Kairos Cross. That is Kairos Cross. Yeah. Yeah. You went to. Catholic. We went to the same high school. You did Jesuit. Yeah. You went there. I went there. When did you, you went to Jesuit? You did Jesuit. Yeah, I did. Uh, not when you were there, but uh, 2017. 2017, you graduated. Yeah. Shit. Doesn't he look old? <laughs> yeah. Damn, dog. Yeah, the, ages, <laughs> the, years, the years have not Damn. treated me well. <laughs> the years have treated you better than me. Man, we, we could have graduated the same year. Alkaline water, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. It's that L.A. stuff there. You know, I didn't get any of that Just L.A. Your face stuff. face with those grapes, honestly. Yeah. I mean, Jesus you Christ. <laughs> Don't worry. I graduated. Yeah, so. yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I have a friend. He graduated 2021 uh, U.S.D. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, my idea. Yeah. Um... Where where'd you go to high school? Uh, I went to high school in Troy, Troy, Athens. But I had a couple friends that went to U of D. They like transferred there. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just curious because I haven't been back in a while, man. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I moved out of LA in 2011. Okay. okay. So, what is like the reputation of U of D now? Is it like? It's tough. I mean, my friends said they. When he was there, um, all the school dances got banned because some dude was getting yeah, his dick sucked in the middle of the dance floor. Play. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. My cousin By another wasn't guy. the one who got his dick sucked. That was cool. But. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what, what year was this? Uh, I, I want to say probably 2018. 2018. Yeah. So someone basically just openly yeah. got blown in front of a bunch of people. Yeah, just yeah, in, in the, the middle, middle of the dance of, floor. Like, to dance. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking vile. Yeah, it was I think it was with the like the sister school. I think it was somebody from the sister school. Yeah, like school. Mercy yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, bro. That's yeah. awful. Yeah. Yeah. These UD kids are out of control. <laughs> yeah, you know. How, how sure. bad do you have to be at dancing where you're like it's your turn what, and the dance whatever, off like, and you're like alumni, get here, suck my dick. <laughs> whatever <laughs> alumni relation person is gonna watch this episode, they're gonna be like, What? We can't let this <laughs> we can't let this information get out there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like like someone would do like a cool dance move uh-huh. in the dance circle, and then one guy's like, I can top this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Perfect. Get top. Good. Yeah. Good, for, good for them. Yeah. Insane. That that's where we first met was uh in uh at U of D. You came to visit and you came I was in Mr. Gumble's class and you came in Gumble. and you, you said, What's up, Mr. Gumble? And then he said, Oh, how's it going? Uh, and then he said, like, how's college? And then you said I graduated seven years ago. And then he was like, Oh, okay. And that was a Yeah, uh, wow. which Gumble? Uh the old one. Old Gumble? He's still around? I don't know. He might be, but man, he was when I was there. Man, that guy's a really unique guy, man. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't even say unique, man. That guy was a fantastic dude, man. Yeah. I really liked that guy. Yeah, man. Like he was, So we had this teacher, Mr. Gumble. He taught math. Mm-hmm. And he was pretty strict. Yeah. He was pretty strict. And he really expected a lot from us. So it was very, like, military. You know, and he wasn't, like... Uh, very friendly mm-hmm. like if someone has their pants like sagging their pants he goes pick up your pants fix your belt tuck in your shirt yeah. and he would just shout it out and it was very much like people were afraid of him like mm-hmm. would you say that's accurate probably yeah i yeah Straight it's an all boys school were anybody wearing was anybody like wearing leggings getting dress coded was that a thing or no no not really you'd leggings? be surprised yeah <laughs> no like you had to brother. wear khakis yeah, was a, did you guys ever have? I thought you guys did you have casual days at all or no? Was it all, always like we you did, guys but were always like dressed jeans. up? Oh, really? Was, okay, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. had to have your hair like cut right, like it couldn't go below your your Not ears. Not my year. Really? My year, you can your hair can be as long as it as you want, and you mm. can have a beard. Really? So there's okay. a lot of uh, Catholic schools where mm-hmm. you cannot have a beard yeah like mm-hmm. brother rice mm-hmm. you have to shave i think catholic central is the same yeah. way catholic central is the same way yeah, yeah. did you go there yeah oh that's yeah. crazy yeah so you went to catholic central we both went to u of d yeah mm-hmm. wow 
And I'm just here. I'm just here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I went idiot. to a public school. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. He got your degree in Drake. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go come yeah. on some Drake. <laughs> Steam cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Crazy, bro. Three. Uh, yeah, man. Bro, it was gnarly, man. I mean, yeah. it was. Uh, yeah. Definitely demanded a lot yeah. of you. I mean, I can't even grow a beard now. That's crazy. You could grow a beard in fucking high school. That's, yeah. That's yeah, fun. Man. So you can't, you can't grow nothing over here. I mean, yeah, nothing here. It's mostly just pedophile, you know, here, here. That's sure. pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. It's more like yeah. pedophile decoy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're I'm the a one trap. That's like, hey, I'm going to go get some Kool-Aid. He goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you sit down. <laughs> yeah. I'm the yeah. pedophile. <laughs> that's what the P stands for. Yeah, yeah. the pedophile boy. <laughs> did, uh, did you hear about <clears throat> Mr. Hill? Was he Morality Hill? I don't know. You don't know who that is? I, I think I know who that is, but I didn't hear about anything. Really? Yeah. So there was a teacher who taught morality class. Did you ever have him? I might have. I don't remember. Okay. I feel like I'm interrogating you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know where you're going. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't touched. If that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. I'm just asking if you know the guy. He doesn't. He doesn't know his Latin. He didn't go to morality. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, does this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I think I'm familiar with him, but I never had him. Okay, like I'm just curious. Like, do you like visit the school or like? No, you, you don't visit school at all. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it look like a castle, right? I don't know. Which one? A uh, U of D, right? Doesn't I guess it, look it looks like a castle, castle right? It's like weird. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, bro. I mean, they had it's uh, Victorian style. Would you say? Yeah, right? yeah. That's it. I don't know building type. <laughs> but, but art Deco. Right. It's Art Deco, art Deco. actually. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. Warholian. I think, <laughs> what it is? Yeah, it's um uh. Yeah, man, it was it was cool, man. Do you have fun yeah. at UFD? Yeah, it was cool. I mean, uh, I didn't have a ton of friends. I just kind of watch movies all the time. Uh, okay. But you know, it was still pretty chill. You'll, you'll know you're making it when they start reaching out to you as a distinguished alumni. You know, like that's, asking for money. Mm-hmm. That's know? true. So that's, Are they doing that to you? Uh, well, I changed my address so many times, nice. <laughs> yeah. so they don't ask for money anymore. It. But yeah, um, I do want to do something for the school. Okay, at some point, and like you know, and they've. Yeah, you know, I've talked to him about it, and like I did an event for them a few years ago. Like uh-huh. I was like, I'll do a free show, and I did a free show. We raised some money, and it was like an nice. experiment. And I was like, you know, just make it free for the alumni, and then make you, it donation based at the end. Were you just getting a blowjob in the middle of a dance floor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there was no sexual. Idea. <laughs> That's I got. In a, I would get in a lot of trouble. I was the president of the Arabic club, and so I, um, I, I started a Twitter account. And I would tweet like just wild shit just to try and like grow a following. And the one that like, got me. Like what? Uh, the one that got me was uh, we at the U of D Jesuit Arabic Club genuinely believe that Bill Cosby did nothing wrong. <laughs> and then um, I walk, do you remember Mr. Chandler? Do you know Mr. Chandler? Kyle Chandler? Kyle Chandler. Yeah, that yeah. was my football coach. Okay, yeah. He called me. He was the principal when I was there. Called me into his office and he just had that open on his computer. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, yeah funny. <laughs> Sorry about that, dog. <laughs> and we also made the profile picture, uh, the teacher who was in charge of its face. So it was like his face. And then like Bill Cosby did nothing wrong. And so. And you made this uh, fake account. It wasn't a fake account. It was a legitimate account to promote the Arabic club and our meetings and like uh, sell some well, sweatshirts. Was it Mr. Pio? It was Mr. Pio. Yeah. 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 R.I.P. Mr. Pio. But he died. He died. Yeah. He died while I was there. Damn. Yeah. R.I.P. Do you speak Arabic? No. You were just <laughs> hey, you were just the, the, president president of the, of the Arabic. Club. I, I claim the <laughs> I claim the title. You know, <laughs> just sort of took over. Damn. Yeah. Mr. Peel, well, he had cancer, right? He had cancer. Yeah. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Damn. All the good ones. Allah ya hamha. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good. Yeah. All right. It, I. My family doesn't really speak Arabic. Everyone mostly speaks Chaldean. So, I, I don't are know. you Chaldean? Yeah, yeah. You're Chaldean. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, I know. It's kind of the, the yeah, Jew. Do you, the look know. Of it, you yeah. say you're Chaldean, or do you yeah. say you're Assyrian? I say I'm Chaldean. This is something I did want to talk to you about because I've I've seen you getting a lot of uh, controversy surrounding this uh, in your comments. Is the Chaldean versus Assyrian? I say I'm Chaldean. And everyone in my family says that we're not Assyrian, but yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's we don't uh, have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, bro. Oh, okay. Actually, I would uh, uh, love to talk about uh, educate you players because you guys <laughs> know about Chaldeans. I'm sure there's yeah. a lot in Michigan. Too many, if you ask me. So I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I grew uh, up on some Dolma and Kabahama, you know. <laughs> yeah, bro. So yeah. you know the Chaldean yeah. culture is such a big part of Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like you go to the Arab American Museum, yeah. they have a section about Chaldean history at the Arab American Museum. I've never been, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's 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 in Dearborn, and you know uh, we're not considered Arabs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're actually the indigenous people of uh, the Syrian Empire. Really? Right? Yeah. Okay. So. In uh, around the 1500s, there was this church split. Basically, everyone was a Syrian, right? Everyone was a Syrian. There was a church split. And when the church split happened, did you, are you familiar with this? Uh, I probably was told this at some point, but I'm not. But like, like if, I were to, if I were to say to you, does it like sound familiar? You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I know. I, 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 I'm aware about, of the information. It was being talked about as yeah. he was tweeting about Bill Cosby. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so with this church split, basically, there was a group of Assyrians that were, uh, they wanted to get into the church patriarchy but they kept passing it down to like family okay so these people that were not direct family were like bro how do we get in like the patriarchy if we're not family so they went to the uh pope and they said we want to create our own church did you know about this no i didn't know so that. the own church they created was the assyrian church of the east Mosul. okay okay I know, the, I know Mosul. Yeah, that was the first ever Chaldean Catholic Church. It was the Assyrian Church of the East, Mosul. That was okay. the first ever Chaldean Catholic Church. Uh -huh. And then over years, Chaldeans started to separate themselves from Assyrians. And because there was a lot of uh, the Assyrian people that are in this specific area in Iraq, mm -hmm. there was a lot of Arabic influence. Mm -hmm. So our language, the dialect of Aramaic mm -hmm. and Sudith, the, the, the language that we speak. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you speak Sudith at all? No. So the, the dialect of Sudith has a lot of Arabic influence in it. Yeah. So essentially, it's it sounds really different. It's sort of like if you talk to somebody from like Jamaica, mm -hmm. like it's English, but there's so much slang thrown in there that it basically created this new language. Really? Wagwan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like like there's certain words there and phrases in Jamaican that mean something mm -hmm. that in English you're like, what are you saying? But if you listen to a Jamaican talk, mm -hmm. you can probably pick up on a few things. Yeah. That's how s people who speak the Sudith language, that's how they respond when they hear the Chaldean dialect. Mm. So there's a lot of Chaldeans because of this division, they were like Chaldean, they basically created that Chaldean is an ethnic identity. Mm. It's an ethnic identity, which it's not an ethnic identity. And they're like, but the Chaldeans in the Bible, that's who we derive from, which is known that we are not those Chaldeans from the Bible. Those Chaldeans from the Bible weren't even around the area where we were from. They were all the way south, and they were warriors and like uh, 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 they were uh, wizards. Yeah. They were like believing in spells, and uh, they didn't believe in God at all. They were just, and they were separate from us. And the Assyrians were up top. So the Pope, when these Assyrians were like, we want to be different, they're like, all right, we're going to call you Chaldeans. The Pope chose that name. When he chose that name, it created so much confusion in the community. So now when I'm back, so when I when I found out about this, like I'm traveling the world, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm meeting people in the Middle East. I'm doing shows in Dubai, Egypt, and I'm talking to different people. And I'm like, they're like, where, where are you from? I'm like, oh, I'm Chaldean, and my parents are from Iraq. They're like, Chaldean, oh, you're a Syrian. And I'm like, what? Nah, bro, what are you talking about, bro? I'm Chaldean. They're like, <laughs> yeah. no, you're a Syrian. And I was like, I'm not really, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, I think I've heard the word Assyrian. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sure you've heard the word Assyrian yeah, yeah, growing yeah. up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I never was like, I'm Assyrian. I was like, that's, I, I was always told that it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, then I was told a story that there were these two brothers. Did you hear about the story of the two brothers? Yeah, the, um, Kaldu I don't remember and the names, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kaldu and Ashur. They basically, there's this myth of these two brothers who split off, which is, there's no verified evidence of this story either. So then I was like, bro, I'm going through this like crazy identity crisis <laughs> yeah. where I'm like traveling and I'm like talking to people and I'm doing my own research mm -hmm. and I'm meeting other Assyrians and they're showing me proof. They're like, no, bro, this is something that the Pope gave you. The Pope called you Chaldean. You are actually Assyrian. This is from years ago. This is who you are. And I'm like, fuck, bro, this is wild. So like more people started to like watch my comedy mm -hmm. and I'm like, I got to like talk about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like I should talk about this. So I talked about it and I did a video where I was like, Chaldeans are Catholic Assyrians from Iraq, which is Chaldeans because of the Chaldean Catholic Church. They're mm -hmm. Assyrians who adopted the Catholic uh, Chaldean Catholic Church, the Church of the Eastern Rite. So 
I started getting a lot of people that were like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fuck you. I was getting death threats. Really? Yeah, bro. I was getting Is death it, threats from people. Do Chaldeans not like Syrians? Like, oh, Syrians. I mean, Syrians? I mean, imagine your whole life you've been told you were yeah. something. And then someone says, you're actually not that. Yeah. It's just like. You're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Or like, you know, well, whatever it is about your yeah. identity, your yeah. heritage, bro. Like your DNA, your heart. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you mentioned your family still is like, we are not a Syrian. There's a lot of people like y'all, bro. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Yeah. And and I'm and I was like, I'm only interested in what's true. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Like, cause my mom is like, my mom is like, we're Chaldean. Mm -hmm. We're not a Syrian. My brothers now are starting to understand. So they're yeah. starting to be like, we're a Syrian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my brothers are, but they say I'm Chaldean Assyrian. Mm -hmm. And then they say, I'm Chaldean, Assyrian, Iraqi, American. I'm like, motherfucker, that is so many. <laughs> LGBTQ. <laughs> things, bro. G so many things. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, uh, and it did hurt me in some ways. Like there were some Chaldean mm -hmm. organizations that didn't want to book me. Because you were saying that stuff? Damn. Yeah. Wow. There, and then people were like, yo, man, Paul Aaliyah is like mm -hmm. the only guy in our community like doing this in comedy. Mm -hmm. Like, how are y'all not like bringing him for events, yeah. doing this, yeah. sharing his stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting messages from different organizations that are Kellyan organizations. Mm -hmm. And they're DMing me and they'll be like, hey, how come you don't share some of our posts? And then I told him, I was like, I would love to share your posts. However, I just want to make sure that we have an understanding. I am not a separatist, mm -hmm. which is what they call Chaldean separatists. And it's only in Detroit, by the way, because there's Chaldeans in Arizona, San mm -hmm. Diego, yeah. Australia. You know about all the... all the Yeah, yeah. All, yeah there's a lot, bro. Big four. Australian Chaldean? Bro, there's... there's they're probably Australian my favorite people. Dude, they're impossible to understand. <laughs> 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 they would probably be my they're favorite people in the world. all over the world. world. Yeah. And they're all like, yeah, we're Assyrian. Mm -hmm. They all admit they're Assyrian. There's even yeah. a church in the east side in Sterling Heights that says Chaldean Assyrian Catholic mm -hmm. Church. But it's only this group of people in, honestly, Metro Detroit that are just like, <laughs> nah. Yeah. And fucking idiots, you know? <laughs> do, do, doesn't Michigan have, like, the highest, like, Arabic population? Or Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, they put uh, Assyrians in that same category. Okay. Even though we're, cons we're not considered... Uh, the man, Arab? The man okay. just did 10 minutes on not being considered Arab. But yeah. Like, yeah. No, but bro, like, valid, <laughs> valid, valid, uh, valid question. Yeah. Basically, we're like, oh, you know, you're because nationality is a function of citizenship. Mm -hmm. So if your citizenship is Iraqi, mm -hmm. where you, your parents are from Iraq, right? Uh, sort of. My mom wasn't born there. My dad uh, was born in Kuwait, but he was from Iraq. Your dad was, oh, your dad was born in Kuwait. Yeah. And then did he eventually go to like one of the villages up north or did he stay in Kuwait? No, I mean, he was just born, like his, his, his family is from Iraq, moved to Kuwait before he was born because uh, my grandpa got in some trouble. And then, uh, <laughs> and happened? then it was just, you know, the, the usual stuff, just anti-government stuff. Mm. And then, uh, really, yeah. And then they came here, he was like four or five. And so he's been here ever since. Like against the bath party in Saddam? Uh, I think so. I, I listen, dog. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not well versed on the culture. If you couldn't tell, bro, but but, but you, you know you know what I'm saying, bro. It's like uh, you know you're my brother. We're yeah. both the same ethnic background. Sure. And it's like I want people to know their history. Like this history of like your family, bro, mm -hmm. is like so rich. And it's like you're a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, you can tell this story. That's a good point. I probably should. <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm saying making <laughs> movies what? about Frankenstein's. But, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so what I'm saying. It's like, bro, like we have limited time on this earth, bro. Like mm -hmm. we all are in this creative game. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if we're not gonna write about ourselves mm -hmm. and write about our feelings and our family history, then what the fuck are we writing about? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, do Frankenstein, do all these things. Like, do mm -hmm. make jokes about yeah. drapes. <laughs> you know, talk about, you know, dressing like a swamp worker. <laughs> I like it. All these things, bro. Then that's going to lead you. <laughs> and Nobody asks you for favors your, when you dress like Did your that. ethnicity like translate into your comedy like a lot before you discovered that you were a Syrian before that or not really? I was always like, I'm Arab. And I was mm -hmm. doing like a lot of Arab jokes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would be like, my dad is like this. Yeah. So a lot of people like started to relate mm -hmm, to it because mm -hmm. I like learned how to talk about my thoughts feelings about my dad because yeah. I felt so much shame around it for so long Okay, because I was like I can't talk about my dad like you, you you don't speak Arabic at all right no so are you familiar with the term Ayyib uh no I have so Ayyib in Arabic is like it means like embarrassing it's like mm -hmm. like so much shame yeah mm -hmm. like if you were to do something it's like Ayyib you know and they, mm -hmm. they would say that so to talk about my family while I'm doing I, I felt so Ayyib about it mm -hmm. it's like how are you gonna talk about your father yeah mm -hmm. and then I was like man 
if I'm not going to talk about my family, bro, then I'm not, uh, why the fuck am I a comic? Yeah. Why am I a comedian if I'm not yeah. going to talk about this shit? If I'm not going to mm-hmm. talk about these things. And like I learned as a comedian, the thing that makes you cry, the thing that scares you is what you should be talking about. Mm-hmm. That's all you should be talking about. So, you know, early on in my, in my journey, I was like, man, I just got to spend a lot of time just talking about these things. So once I started to talk about it, I started to like, you know, people like, oh, relating to it. And then that's when people are like, wait, so you're, you say you're Chaldean. Like, and then that's when I started to come, mm-hmm, come, mm-hmm. come this re- uh, uh, revelation. Mm-hmm. And uh, bro, like, you know, I know this, uh, we've met before briefly yeah. uh, in school, but uh, I hope this information is like useful to you. And honestly, bro, you should really do some research and just look at it. Cause it's like, you know, but also it's like, it can cause a lot of rub in your community. Like uh-huh. my, there's a lot of people who do not fuck with me. I'll go into places, I'll get dirty looks. But then when right. I go to like other places like Chicago, uh-huh. people are like, man, you have no idea how important this work is that you're doing. Yeah. And I get a lot of love. People are like, man, this is, you know, you're, you're telling the truth. And that's all I want to do, bro. I have no agenda. I just want to tell the truth. I wonder that's what, what I try to go on stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wonder what it is about Metro Detroit that makes them so, you know, against, against what you're saying. Money, know. bro. Money? Yeah. Yeah, it's money. Flus. Flus, yeah, that's how you say it. It's money, bro. I got that one. How come? <laughs> because think about like this, bro. The 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 Catholic Church is a business as mm-hmm. well. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I'm I'm Chaldean Catholic. Yeah. Um, and you know, I talk about it in my special, like, mm-hmm. you know, I also and learned about a lot of faiths. And I was like, let me see what these other faiths do. Cause like I was raised to be a certain way to be like, if you're Catholic, that's right. If you're anything else, it's wrong. That's sort of the framing, in which mm. maybe you too. I don't know how you were, if you were raised very religious. Yeah, I was pretty religious. So. Yeah, so would yeah. you say that's like accurate? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like if you do not accept that Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven, everything else is wrong. Or, or, or mm-hmm. that's the only way. So I was yeah. like, but there's some good people that I know that are Muslim, bro. Yeah. There's some good people that are Jewish. You know what I'm saying? There's some good people in the Abrahamic faiths and mm-hmm. Buddhism and Hinduism and all yeah. these other religions. I'm like, but they're good people, bro. So I was like, yeah. let me try to learn about these things yeah. just to see what I can find. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like once I started to do a lot of research, I started realizing, man, the Catholic mm-hmm. Church is a business and they yeah. do make money. And yeah. the Chaldean Catholic Church is separate from the Assyrian Church and it's its own business. And a lot of people are donating to the Catholic Church, the Chaldean Catholic Church. There's a lot of donors. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's like, huh, I wonder why they have so much of a rub. Yeah. Does that affect something? It, it might. Yeah. Their, their business and how many people are like, you might be changing people's minds at, well, maybe I'm not like Catholic, maybe I'm, you know, maybe I do, do my own research and maybe I, something else, you know, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah bro. No, for real, man. So it's like, you know, um, the more I started to be around people that are like high level in the yeah. game, like, you know, and, uh, I call it ear hustling. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm in a group with like, you know, some of the top dogs in entertainment, I'm quiet. I'm not trying to be hilarious. I'm not trying to be anything. I'm like, bro, I'm here just to observe Mm -hmm. so i'm on observe energy Mm -hmm. and everything i've heard bro can be distilled to something very simple which is like if you ain't saying the truth you're not you shouldn't be saying anything Mm -hmm. so i was like i gotta make sure i'm saying the truth in everything like even detroit player Mm -hmm. every line i was like am i lying Mm -hmm. am i lying did Mm -hmm. this happen is this the truth Mm -hmm. and then if it is a lie i'm like i gotta rewrite it to where it's like well technically i'm not lying Mm -hmm. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And just being authentically yourself on stage, <coughs> I feel like people can can tell when you're not, you know, yourself or when you're making something up or, you know, Bro, stuff like they, that. they can. Like, mm-hmm. it, can you tell when someone's, like, making up a story? Like, yeah, because it like, just doesn't sound... This, yeah. Right? Yeah. People are a lot smarter than we think. Yeah. So it's like... And then us telling the truth sometimes, it's like, mm-hmm. it's just not funny. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. But it's like, it's so much more powerful, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Gabe must tell the truth a lot because he's not very funny. So. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's definitely true, dude. No, it's dog. real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, was... But what you were saying about like a lot of different, there's a lot of cool stuff in a lot of different religions. There's a lot of cool stuff like in the Quran specifically, like just like, it feels like the Catholic church is definitely a business. And then like, I feel like a lot of just like people who, who uh, like Arabic people and stuff, I feel like they are legitimately like they do help the poor. Like that is like their biggest thing. And I'm, they're like, actually, but like, Catholics, like they say they are, but it feels like they're really not, you know, they're just like about making money and not actually giving back. Yeah. Which is not Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Catholicism is about giving back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like what I tell people is, you know, I'm, I'm proud of my faith and I don't want to, you know, I'm, 
I'm anti-atheist. Like yeah. I'm, I'm not on that vibe. So I tell mm -hmm. people, it's like, it's not that Catholicism is bad. It's Catholics that are bad. Yeah. Islam is not bad. Mm -hmm. Muslims are bad. Mm -hmm. There's bad Muslims that are not following Islam the way it mm -hmm. should be followed. Yeah. And same thing with Catholics. Same thing with, with Judaism. Bro, we mm -hmm. see it happening right now in the Middle East, bro. Yeah. Like killing innocent people, bro, is not a part yeah. of their religion. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, bro. Like, I, th I think the more research I did, bro, and I'm just mm -hmm. like, man, this is so eye-opening. Mm -hmm. So I've been spending a lot of time reading a lot yeah. of shit. I mean, it's probably pretty cool because I feel like I don't, I don't understand, you know, where I come from or my, because it's just, it's just from? so, I'm mostly French, I believe, like, uh, but my grandpa was adopted on my dad's side, so I really don't, we don't, we, we don't, wow. don't really know, yeah. Grandpa was adopted? Yeah. yeah. In France? Uh, no, not, not in France, no, yeah, no, here. Was, was he discarded? Uh, so his, his mother was 16 when she had him and she like had no money, so she gave him up to uh, my uh, great grandparents, yeah. Wow. And then, so my last name would have been Spalding, I believe, instead of Jervis. I'm not what I'm not sure what nationality that is. Spalding, I don't know, but yeah, it's weird. I don't know where I come from, bro. That's so interesting, man. Yeah. You find it funny that like that I didn't really get like do a deep dive and research shit until I started trying to entertain other people, mm -hmm. you know, and like most of my career was bartending entertainment and stuff like that and just hearing people talk shit over the bar it's like let me let me go and find some of these things out that i hear everyone and it's like i i couldn't crack a book to save my life growing up but like now that i'm older it's like i'll do those deep dives and want to learn more is it kind of the same in, in your experience there where like you like find yourself more motivated uh to to actually do do the research and and know what's behind it yeah man i mean everything i say on stage, I'm like, I have to know enough about it to where if mm -hmm. anyone asks me to write a paper on it, I can be like, oh, man, here you go. So it's like everything I say, like line by line, mm -hmm. like word by word, like shaving words, like that to that level of detail, like, and the only way to know that it does need that is by doing the research. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want anyone to be like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're a fraud. Mm -hmm. You're fake. Because <laughs> like, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah. And like, we see that with comics. It's like, and also comics that are just like not saying shit. I'm like, bro, you got a platform, you got a mic, and you ain't saying nothing. Uh -huh. You're saying nothing. Like, there's not that you can't have a joke about you know something sexual or something mm -hmm. grotesque and weird. And but thing is, <laughs> also talk comment. about the human. <laughs> but also, bro, thing is, you can do that. Yeah. But you can also make a comment about the human condition yeah. while doing that. Yeah. And that's where brilliant comedy comes yeah. from. When you know that's what uh, Carlin would do. Carmen, mm -hmm. Carlin had that whole joke about farts. Yeah. about different types of farts mm -hmm. and he's really tapping into people's yeah. like sensory yeah so it's like bro you can do that man you're a fucking g yeah and it seems like knowledge is very very important to you it seems like yeah yeah man i, I i'm really really truth yeah really truth bro mm -hmm. and it's like even I'm, I'm making i'm cooking my new hour and a lot of it's about immigration okay so i was like i gotta learn everything about immigration mm -hmm. so i'm watching a bunch of films on immigration um, I have them queued up. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching, I'm going to watch some there in different languages. One's in French, actually. I'm going to yeah. watch that one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm watching this French yeah. film about immigration and... Les Immigrants. <laughs> Something like that. You say what? Les Immigrants. Yeah, that's how you Les say immigrants. it. Les Immigrants, is that yeah. how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I don't not. do any research. Yeah. <laughs> I just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> research specialist yeah. Joseph over yeah, here. I, like it. I had no idea you were Chaldean, bro. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I hide it with Judaism. Yeah, so I thought I was like, he was Jewish, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Old yeah. Italian, that's what I thought. Yeah, Old Italian? Old Italian. Yeah. Old Italian. To be yeah. fair, it was the Uncle Mafia content. That, yeah, that, threw me that was a bit of a... Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious, because I think this is our first time like really sitting down yeah, and like, yeah. having this conversation, but like, yeah. is, is like saying this is Syrian stuff, is, is there a part of you that's just like, this is bullshit? No, I just kind of don't care. Like, <laughs> it's it's just like, I, I've i lived in America my whole life. Yeah. I don't speak Chaldean. I don't really hang around other Chaldeans. Like, aside from my fiance, I just kind of like... And she's like, Chaldean, your fiance. She's also Chaldean. Wow. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, I'm like, I, I'm not someone who like is going to argue with people about their beliefs. I'm just like, yeah, like, that's cool. Like, it I, sounds... Again, it, I haven't done any research. Yeah. I whenever people explain to me the difference of Assyrian and Chaldean and all that, I'm not listening. Uh, so really? I, yeah. <laughs> well, when I was explaining, are you just like, no, no, I was, listening, I was listening when you were explaining yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. But no, just like in the past, I've just, I've, I've never really like 
um, uh, I guess I've never really like been interested in learning like the history of like the Chaldeans in the Middle East. Wow. Which I know that's like, you know, goes against everything you just said, yeah. but well, well, he, 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 being he, truthful. Yeah, man. He, he, I'm speaking he, the truth. He, he, here's what I'll say, bro. It's, you know, um, understanding ourselves, bro, mm -hmm. is crazy. It's a crazy journey. You sure. know what I'm saying? And it's like, and at a certain point, you know, we're going to come face with it. I guess we could just be like, you know, because I was like you for many years. I was like, who gives a fuck? I don't care. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, man, I, I, that was my conclusion for so many things. Who gives a fuck? I don't care. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh, did you know that your grandpa did this? I'm like, I never met him. Mm -hmm. Who gives a fuck? I don't care. Mm -hmm. Then once I started like, here, my, my dad's getting older. He's telling me about my grandpa. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. He did that. He did that. He met this person. He did this. He hung Saddam. He did. <laughs> yeah. He did. You know? Yeah. He's very conflicted, bro. He's a very conflicted guy. Yeah, sure. You know, but also <laughs> Saddam has the key to the city in Detroit. Did you know that? Yeah, I heard about that. I, I heard he like uh, he helped fund Mother of God or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and the, and a church in San Diego. Yeah, he's a cool dude. And it is it is really cool. Like I like learning about like just talking to my grandparents and stuff, and like talking about like Friends. my yeah yeah Archduke Franz Ferdinand, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Franz Ferdinand, yeah. shitting in rivers yeah. and do, yeah. Do y'all watch uh, Game of Thrones at all? No. Mm -hmm. So oh, you do. Mm -hmm. So House of Dragons is the prequel, right? Yep. So. Does understanding the prequel give you a better understanding or like make you appreciate the other one more? Um, I mean, I, I, I recently rewatched Game of Thrones and so like there are some, some of those Easter eggs back and forth, but like I, I need that. It's, it's, it's almost like it just grandfathers you into enjoying the show because you know that eventually it's going to lead to something that, that, mm -hmm. you, uh, that you appreciate. It's like I can see the parallel there where yeah. it's like, know the history and you know, enjoy the present. Uh, a whole yeah, lot man. Yeah. Basically. Mm hmm. Yeah, I probably should know all this stuff, but uh, just you know, <laughs> I got an active mind. I'm always yeah. thinking about podcasts. To, yeah, really, so many podcasts. Before you get yeah. married, do you have to like uh, meet with the Chaldean priest and like? I have to get the seal of approval from the Chaldeans. Okay. You know? Yeah, I have to go to the Chaldean council. Yeah. yeah. Do you go? Do you go to church? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in so long. Yeah. Go to Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah. It's, I feel like I'm more agnostic than atheist i wouldn't want to say that god doesn't exist i just i don't know i don't know it seems like it would be it's pretty complicated like, i don't know i feel like since it's all like it was the you know the bible is written by a man quran is written by a, a man and stuff like i don't know it seems it seems suspicious that like it, i feel it feels that maybe it's more of lessons than like you know what actually happened it's just trying to teach people what what they should do you know I don't know. It's a, are you a, asking? Or are you yeah, no, early religions were a method of control, you know? Like yeah. You got to give everybody a collective of something to believe in and whatever. I'm more of just telling. I don't yeah, know yeah. where <laughs> I was going with that, to be <laughs> honest. I don't yeah. know. I was just talking. Yeah. But no, My like, bad. on that same <laughs> no, kind of journey, <laughs> you know, researching other, other faiths and other, uh, you know, kind of uh, ways of living, like a, a lot of people identify the same things. They just call them different things. You know? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, it's there's a power higher than you and don't be a shitty human to others, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, like for it's sure. Kind of the baseline behind all religions. I feel like, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, that's sort of why I don't care about like the Assyrian versus Chaldean thing. Cause it's just like, if you call yourself Assyrian, I call myself Chaldean. It's not like nothing's going to like change mm -hmm. between us. It's I, really for, uh, the people around us in our community. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying. Like I, I see where you're coming from, but, um, I don't have as much sway in the community as you do, so I don't think anyone's <laughs> going to listen to me about it. You'll be surprised, bro. Yeah? You'll be surprised. I mean, you'll be surprised just, like, even talking to your wife about it. Like, hey, man, you know, I was just talking about this. Like, what do you think about this? Yeah. And it's like, you know, I, do you know, uh, have you have you heard of Shemesh? And um, there's a podcast that uh, these two uh, Syrian guys started. Mm -hmm. uh, one went to Brother Rice. Nice. And um, Or no, fuck him. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> the Al Aluki and Shemesh podcast? No, I haven't heard of I'll, it. I'll send it to you because like, okay. it was interesting because he was talking about the history of, uh, you know, the Chaldean people have a flag. Mm -hmm. Did you, have you, do you know about this? The Chaldean? No. Chaldean so there's flag. a flag. Have you seen the Chaldean I've flag? I've seen the flag, yeah. So the Chaldean flag was, uh, are you familiar with the history of it? No. So the Chaldean <laughs> church, 
the answer to that question is always <laughs> yeah, going to yeah. be no. Well, maybe you might know, bro. I mean, you know about flutes. You know how to say flutes. That's a good point. Yeah. So I know Miss said this. So a uh, brief story. Uh, so the Assyrians, the uh, Chaldeans, and the Syriacs mm -hmm. are basically three religious groups, right? That are they're all ethnically Assyrian, but these are like the three groups, right? And this guy, his name is Shendaj. He's a Kurdish guy. He was commissioned by the Chaldean Church to make a flag that represents all three of these religions, the, the, or, or three of these subsets of the Assyrians. Mm -hmm. So he made this flag, the Chaldean, uh, Chaldean flag. And he goes, this flag is for everybody, Syriacs, Assyrians, and Chaldeans. The Assyrians never commissioned it. Syriacs never commissioned it. They were like, they just made it on their own. So this guy made this flag. Chaldean, uh, I think that... I can't remember which foundation, but one of the Chaldean foundations used the flag on their website, and then he sued them. He sued them for using the Chaldean flag. He goes, this is my intellectual property. You cannot use this flag. This guy made a flag that's supposed to represent people. And mm -hmm. this motherfucker sued people. For using it. The, his own people yeah. for using it. Wow. So it's like, it just lets you know that it's like, so this flag is complete bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's a bullshit flag mm -hmm. that this guy got paid to make. And then I see people at graduation, they graduated from... Oakland University, and they have the 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 shawl or whatever the fuck it's called mm -hmm. with the Chaldean star on it, and I'm just like, bro, you don't even you're gonna get sued. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get sued. And the thing is, again, it's 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 the school of thought, which is it's like, do you know where this flag came from? And the two answers are, I don't give a fuck, and who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So much of life, it, that's what atheists believe. Mm -hmm. It's like you know God exists, right? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? And then they have another one said nothing matters. Yeah, which is amoral. Like, if you don't have religion, like you could just become so amoral, and you could just you could just think you could do whatever you want. I feel like religion Nihilist. is very important. Yeah, yeah. bro, it's I mean, needed. I mean, uh, uh, essentially, like I had a conversation with another comic. We were mm -hmm. um, we were on tour, and uh, he was a part of our crew, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was cooking food for everybody. I love cooking, bro. Mm -hmm. I love cooking, bro. It's like my- You look like you can cook, I feel like. Oh, yeah. player, yeah. that is racist. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's yeah, spicy. you can slice a hero, <laughs> right? <laughs> what are you doing? He's our guest. <laughs> Doesn't look Mexican. <laughs> Doesn't look That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Do look Italian, so that's kind of, you yeah. know. Yeah. You know. Saved it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you saved the P-Boys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I love cooking, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's like, whenever there's a group of people and there's food, I'm like, yo, I'm- and I, I volunteer. I'm like, I'm going to cook for y'all. Yeah. I'm like living a life of service, right? So I'm cooking for everybody. And I'm like, look, we can eat together. The only rule I have is we have to pray before we eat. That's it. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, all right, cool. So the food was ready. People about to dive in. I was like, cool. I'm just going to say a quick prayer. So I didn't pray any specific way. I didn't mm -hmm. say in our father. I didn't recite anything in Arabic. Didn't recite anything in Sudith. I was just like Good. giving gratitude to God. I was like, God, mm -hmm. thank you for this food. Thank you for bringing us together. Allow us to all have clarity and to move in, you know, a way that walks with goodness. Let's mm -hmm. stay away from evil. And like, you know, just a lot of things I was feeling at the time. I was yeah. freestyling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then when I was done, uh, this one of the comments was like, man, you had such a killer set, bro. You did mm -hmm. this thing. I was like, man, God is good, bro. And then he goes, why do you always say that? Mm -hmm. And he started to get frustrated. I was like, what do you, I was like, what do you mean? He goes, why do you say God is good, bro? Like, no, like God is not good. You're good. Mm -hmm. You're good. Right. And his whole thing was you should celebrate yourself because mm -hmm. when you're on stage and you did a good job, you did a good job. Yeah. You did it. And I was like, right, you're, you're correct. And I'm going to yes. And that yes mm -hmm. to all that. And who made me? Mm -hmm. God, God made me. So it's like, I actually am like, I'm not taking the credit. Like mm -hmm. you see people accept an award. Very few times are people like, man, I did this all by myself. They have mm -hmm. a bunch of people that they thank. Yeah. You did this to me. You did this to me. You did this to me. It's like, bro, you, the person who made it even possible is our creator. So to yeah. live with that humility mm -hmm. that you are made from someone mm -hmm. just allows you to look at life differently because you're like, wow, this is actually a privilege. The fact that we're all here mm -hmm. talking right now yeah. mm -hmm. means something. Yeah. It's not like we're just here and this means fucking nothing. Like you hit me up, you mm -hmm. DM me. I didn't know that I, I met you at U of D. I yeah. didn't know that. We're doing this podcast. <laughs> mm -hmm. You came late. Right? <laughs> Which, and like, but whatever it is, bro, it's like. That was God, dude. It was meant, bro. God's plan. <laughs> I'm saying meant to be. Uh -huh. All these things, bro. Uh -huh. So that's how I just choose to live life. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like that dude still, he was like, yeah, I mean, I still don't believe in God, man. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, well, 
That's why you suck at comedy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking idiot. Yeah. No one's up there with you, you son of a bitch. Godless, unfunny asshole. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But that's good, though. That's good to, like... You know, it's kind of like giving the compliment away. It's like a good ego check. So you're not like, just like, oh yeah, this was all me. I'm great. I'm amazing. It's like, no, it was God. You know, like you give it away. Man. Yeah. And honestly, bro, that's what protected me yeah. moving through Hollywood, bro. Yeah. It, Cause I've been around people mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh, you clearly worship yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you clearly yeah. worship yourself, yeah. bro. And I'm just like, not like that at all. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's like, people like give me props, like, man, you did all these things, bro. You're on this thing and you did that and you did that. You were on the P boys. You, you say what? You were on the P boys. You know, yeah, no you one did. said that yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, bro. Come Thursday, 35 <laughs> to 45 people might. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. No, that's awesome. I, I, and I like that. I like that idea. Cause I feel like, especially when somebody gives me a compliment, even just a little, the smallest compliment, I'm like, I'm the greatest person ever, dude. And it just goes like right to my head. I was like, I gotta, I gotta stop doing that. Like it's so no, bad. But, but, it's, it's, but the thing is, bro, it's, it's, it's not a inaccurate route or mm -hmm. a bad route. It's yeah. just not done yet. Then the yeah. other thing is like, Oh man. And God was able to make me feel this way. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And it's like even more, bro. It's yeah. like bonus round shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like even like food, bro, like, like, I'll eat food. I'm just like, man, there's yeah. people who don't have this. And I yeah. like think about that. So it just makes me grateful for everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's a great mindset to have. Yeah, man. I used to, um, I, I don't do it anymore. I, I used to just like talk to God, just like right before I go to sleep and just like talk, like I'm talking to like a person. And I feel like I genuinely would hear somebody talk back or like I would get like advice back. You know? Wow. Bro, yeah. I got goosebumps you said that, <laughs> I don't do it. I, I I don't know why I don't do it anymore. I just I just kind of kind of kind of stopped. I used to. I read the um, uh, the New and the Old Testament. I want to read the Quran though, just to get like you should. You know those three sources. Because what you need you need three sources to write a paper. So you should have three sources to get into to heaven. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Art, son. <laughs> well, my dad told. That's what my dad said. I don't know where the oh. fuck he got that from. Bro, just, your dad's yeah. a G. Yeah, I'm just imagining Muslim yeah. Gabe right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <Islam> like Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> pull it off. You can pull yeah. off the yeah, 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 yeah. bro. I, yeah. I wish you luck in your journey, man. Yeah, and dude, you. it's yeah. it's only gonna you know. The more we learn, bro, mm -hmm. the more it just enlightens us. It's yeah. like, what else are we gonna think about? Just like, how come we're not making enough fucking money? Mm -hmm. How come we're not doing more podcasts? Doing more podcasts? Yeah. yeah. How come we're not higher? How come we're not mm -hmm. making more shit? How come we're yeah. not doing this? Like, mm -hmm. th th has this shit helped any of us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Tell Papa Sean. <laughs> <laughs> nah, last time, last time I was talking to God, though, unfortunately, the authorities didn't agree, and I ended up in the loony bin. But yeah. like those. Probably, uh, <laughs> shit really yeah man. you went to a mental hospital yeah no you didn't bro i had fucking lightning bolts coming out of my fingertips and everything yeah, damn <laughs> he's the third co-host i've had who's been <laughs> in the mental hospital so damn. yeah i missed the frankenstein shoot Hell because yeah. I, was, uh, sure know I was so pissed i was fucking i was livid i was like where the fuck is papa sean i'm supposed to be shooting this fucking scene couldn't couldn't hear from him and then i finally hear from him i'm like oh okay that's a good excuse that's fine <laughs> that's yeah. fine it was, it was pretty solid yeah so it was, it was an eight-day yeah. vacation yeah. I yeah not my excuse so. i just left late yeah yeah uh, fucking yeah. idiot yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bart yeah. Over. yeah. <laughs> but i didn't see someone he's like that's that's probably the shame of it is like if if jesus does come back he's probably in a mental hospital because everyone thinks that they're, they're <laughs> yeah, fucking doesn't believe in there it's like Fire. it's a good point <clears throat> it's a very good point yeah. so Awesome. Yeah. 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 So thanks for being on the B-Boys, Paul. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, P, uh, for this episode, truly does stand for paradise because, you know, we're talking about God and heaven, heaven and all yeah. that. So it's, you know. <laughs> it's wow. a Dante's yeah. Inferno reference. You can it is a Dante's <laughs> Inferno reference. The logo, I'll show you the logo when we're done. The logo is like a, you know, the biblically accurate angels where it's like the wheels with the eyes on them and all that and the fire and the wings. Was that intentional? Yeah. Wow. I yeah, I designed the logo. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, you know, Paradiso. Wow. So it's yeah. like it's almost like your heart is speaking to you. Exactly. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was my I, I was gonna kick out of it when people ask them about yeah. about yeah. Paradiso because like you know how like you can see someone's internal monologue? Joseph is always like, God, I should have picked a different fucking name for this yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. like, and I put a Z in it too, so it, it doesn't people it they don't even you texted me at the other yeah, day. Yeah, because I was like, like to change it. 
<clears throat> yeah, I've committed to it this long. So I was, yeah. yeah, P boys. I mean, because I was like, I was like, is it P E E boys? Like we're pissing, or is yeah, it like just P yeah. boys? It's just the letter P, but then B O I Z. Because then people would see it. Obviously, the first thing comes to their mind is like, oh, this must be about like you know urine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and, just, and, like, and, and you're just like, yeah. It's a yeah. funny name. I was yeah. it's a comedy podcast. You know, I feel like people like uh, funny names. Yeah, it was in a come yeah. town. <laughs> Come you know, town. <laughs> no. Do you know about Come Town? I think I've heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's, you know, it's a funny that, name. Is that Luis Gomez? No. Uh, um, that's uh, Adam Friedland and Nick Mullen and Stavros. Stavros, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know Stavros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm at Netflix Fest. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're nice. doing it in LA, yeah. Nice. Dude. Hell yeah. Not a big fan, but I'll. I'll <laughs> <laughs> really? No, nah, I mean, he's fine. I, yeah. I, I don't really care. What are your thoughts on um, uh, Brittany Griner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Albanians. What are your thought on, thoughts on Albanians? Do you like them? You like with them? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a hard hitting question. We're asking on the people. Uh, do I like Albanians? Yeah. No, yeah. no joke. You had yeah. to, like back in 2000, fucking three, 2004, yeah. you had to know that before you went to Laboom. Like, yeah. What, what, well, before you walk stand? into this building, I don't want to give away the building we're in, but there, it's a. Uh, Albanian it, owned? No, but the. Oh. I'll, I'll explain that. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. But um, I just, I don't know why I asked that, because I guess Stavros just ta always talks shit Stavros about his Greek. producer being Albanian. Oh, okay. Oh, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. He's Greek, I think. So yeah, yeah, he's Greek. Yeah. So they have, like, they got a little feud going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And also there was just so many Albanians that went to my school. Sure. They're so yeah, obnoxious. I mean, Troy Athens. Troy? It, Troy right. Athens, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So many Albanians. They might as well call it Such Troy, Troy Albos. But they're, they're, they're fun. They're fun guys. They're fun guys. They're fun, guys. They're fun, guys. They're fun boys. Yeah. Yeah. Love the flag. Yeah. yeah the, the flag is really cool. The like, bird? Yeah, the bird. Yeah. yeah. That shit is sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They're just so aggressive. They're always getting into fights and shit. I don't sure. know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Chaldeans <laughs> don't do that anymore. We don't, we don't get into fights yeah. anymore. No more fights, dude. No nah, more fighting. Yeah. No more? Were you getting into <clears throat> fights in your day? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, back in my day, I was the only parking yeah. lot. Uh, yeah. Never been in a fight. I mean, maybe it's just a Gen Z thing. Like... We don't uh we don't really brawl as much. Have you ever been in a fight? Uh no, I've never. Yeah, been I think it's just yet. a Gen Z thing. We're all yeah. pussies now. So yeah, we like, are. Yeah, bro, I was fighting a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys got to take it out on each other online. Like, yeah, we, we had to actually. I feel like y'all yeah, have physically. internal fights. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have more porn too, so I think that's porn. Really yeah, it yeah. really ma relaxes us. Also, just violent video games. I think sure. really gets the stress. And out. you guys yeah. fuck each other. You know? Yeah, so, exactly. Right. Yeah, we're all bisexual, dude. <laughs> I, I, I think there probably would have been less fist fights uh, for me growing up if, if that was got a nut off. Yeah. yeah, just fucking everybody. Like we're fucking or fighting. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and you One guys, you guys are sometimes both. Fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever about to get into a fight and you just get butt ass naked, dude? Yeah, yeah. Uh, might as well. Yeah, we're already rolling on the floor. Anyway, so back to religion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fellas. Uh, yeah. This has been so much fun. This yeah. The people is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to shout it out? <laughs> what what your social medias are or whatever? Yeah. Plug uh, away. Yeah, man. Paul Leah comedy. I'm on everything. Mm -hmm. uh, tour dates. Watch paulalea.com. Yes. Word. And I'm on David Tell's Instagram. He's on David so Tell's Instagram. Gonna plug that every yeah, single time. He's a, it was a big deal <laughs> for everybody in the community. When uh, he was on David Tell's Instagram. What, yeah. In what way? Uh, I work at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, and he did he did um, a weekend there, and then he took a picture with the whole staff, and I was like right next to him, so I was like, "Oh, pretty cool." cool. Shook yeah. his hand. He's a nice guy. Yeah, really Great nice guy. guy. I love him. Yeah, funny as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. He, gave, he brought everybody candy, gave us candy, and I was like, Dude. "Yeah." Really hard for you to fight those pedophile allegations, dude, bringing <laughs> all this candy. Does he have pedophile allegations? I know. I don't oh, know. Okay. Everybody does, don't they? Yeah, at this point, who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people who don't. Yeah. <laughs> you just had the kind of face that I'd want to, if I had a Werther's original, I'd want yeah, to Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, Florida Smith. All right. I got to ask you real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> is, is there going to be a Rami season four or is it done? We don't know yet. Okay. All right. Yeah, In yeah. the works. All right. TBD. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. But there yeah, is an yeah. animation coming out. Oh. Yeah. So that's going to come out in January, and uh, um, you may hear a familiar voice in it. Oh. Ooh. Wow. I'm looking Ooh. forward to hearing that voice. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Paul, thanks for being here. Yep. Guys, Paul, thank thanks you. for being here. Me, yep. thank you for being here. Yep. We'll see you next time. Big peace. Hey, guys. <laughs>